So Cheryl Marshall um, asks a question that you've answered in various ways, but it's been sort of plus 11 by the audience. So I, I, um, I want to ask it again and see, sort of dig a little bit deeper into this. Um, how do you translate what HIV activists were, were able to do to ME, given the fact that so many of us are bedbound and homebound and don't have many healthy people um, sort of activating for us? And Vanessa asked a similar question, which is, you know, often the sick with severe ME cannot get out of the house. Um, what, what can we do with this illness um, is so debil I'm sorry, I guess, what can we do with this illness given that it is so debilitating that we simply cannot physically get out? Yeah, it's a, it's a massive roadblock for you. Um, there's no, no doubting that. Um, uh, and it's going to take, I think, a lot of creativity and, and uh, uh, to get around that type of thing. Um, I, I will say that uh, some, of, uh, some of the actions that ACT UP did required very, very few people. Um, we shut down trading on the New York Stock Exchange with uh, five people. We put a condom on Jesse Helms' house with seven people. Um, so you don't, if, if if you can find uh, either um, uh, those living with ME or uh, ME activists who are friends of those living with ME um, and design a, and you only can, you know, you only end up finding uh, five to ten people that are willing to risk arrest, um, you can design an action around that uh, depending on the creativity and the target uh, that uh, would not require much physical exertion. Um, and now I think that's the type of mind, mind, you know, that's the type of creativity uh, and the playbook that you guys are going to have to figure out. Um, how do we do things if we only can get a few people um, uh, to, to get to this location? 